tasting the fruits of my labor. The sausage, absolutely incredible. That smoky flavor coming through is good. You guys are missing out this morning. However, this next dish, I call it nalisnika, but there are different ways to say it. Kathy, how do you say it? Nalishniki. Now, apparently it's a difference between Polish and Ukrainian, depending on what you are, you pronounce it different ways. Yeah. For those who don't know what that is, it's a cottage it, cheese crepe. Cottage cheese crepe. <laughs> there you go. Dummy it down. Yeah. <laughs> so how do we go about making these? So we start with the batter, which is flour and milk. So you mix that nice. Any egg or anything like that? Or just? Um, you can use an egg. Yep. You don't have to, depending on your preference. Do you want a light batter? Yep. Okay. Light batter. And then you pour it nicely into a pan. So we're not actually going to make this right now because there's not enough time. But so we move on to the finished product. So you cook that for how long in a, in a pan? Very quickly, just a few seconds, 30 seconds or so. They're, they're thin, very okay. thin. Yep. Then you take your crepe, take your filling, which is a cottage cheese. And this you can do a savory, you can do a sweet cottage cheese, whatever you'd like. I want to try this actually. Is it? And then. That's good. It is subtle, sweet. Yeah, subtle sweetness. So just cottage cheese. We use a little bit it. of sugar, you okay. can use honey, and then you roll them up. Simple as that. And voila, there's your crepe. There's your crepe. Now, how do you finish that off? Well, you can garnish it with a little bit of sour cream. Okay. You can bake it in some cream. However yeah, so you like. you, some people put some fruit syrup on it, some fruit. So my family, which is like. Ukrainian, we, we make these a lot. And my mom, what she would do is she'd bake them in the oven with some cream and dill on top. Yep. So there's different variations. You Absolutely. Do. I guess depending if you want sweet or if you want savory, yep. right? You can, yeah, you can make the same uh, filling with dill or you can make it sweet and voila. Ta-da. Bake them. That is it. That is it. Excellent. I would like to try one of these because typically I have them baked um, and they're really hot. Mm -hmm. But I've never tried one. Sour cream, sweeter one. This is a mouthful. I took way too much on this one. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. Subtle flavor. You take the sweetness, but the uh, savoriness of the sour cream is a perfect match. Yeah. But here you can take these home and you can bake them and garnish them any way you like them. So these are the finished product. You just do whatever you want yeah. with them. You can take them home and do whatever you like. There you go. So now you guys know what Nalistica is or there you go. Now you know. And look how easy it is. You guys can make these at home for Ukrainian Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good.